All right, so you want to be in your um, student textbook, volume two, and you want to be on um, page 732. So you want to pause this video and get that ready with something to write with. And um, what we're going to do here is we're going to be talking about some factoring. And we sort of covered this earlier, but we're going to hit it a little bit harder, and we're going to apply it to uh, trinomials next week. But today we're going to worry about factoring um, binomials. Uh, so if we look here, um, we have a binomial because there's one, two factors here. Um, there's one term and here's the other term and then we need to remember that this term is called the constant. We've talked about this in the last video. So make sure you know that the lonely number is called the constant and the three here we should know is called the coefficient. And that's the number being multiplied by the variable, so coefficient. So when we're looking at these, we want to look at um, what number will divide into both of these. So we're looking for the greatest common factor, and we want it to be um, the biggest number. So obviously when you look at 3, the factors of 3 are 3 and 1. 1 will always work for anything, but 3 can go into here and here. So the GCF is 3. Um, so basically what they do is they say 3 times x, and then they say 3 times 5 is 15. And then we take this x and this 5 and put in parentheses, and we bring out the 3. How we've done it in class is, um, which I like a little bit better, is we say, OK, the greatest common factor is 3. So I divide this by 3 and this term by 3. So we pull the GCF out front. And we know 3 divided by 3 is 1, or just x, so that goes in the parentheses. Here's the plus, so I bring it here. And then 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay. And then if we want to check and see if that's correct, I can distribute. 3 times x gives me 3x. Bring the plus down. And 3 times 5 gives me 15. And this is what we started with right here. So I know I did that correctly. So um, the way they call this is calling it uh, rewriting the distributive property. Um, you know, you distribute A to the B and to the C. And so basically, we're trying to figure out what that A is. So we're going to do a couple of practice problems down here. Um, looking at this, um, we, want it, we have 4x and 12. So um, we start with the smaller number, 4, and its factors are uh, 1 times 4, 2 times 2, or 4 times 1. And looking at that, um, 2 will go into both of these, but 4 will divide into here and here. So 4 is going to be my GCF. So again, we're just going to divide by 4 and divide this term by 4. We bring the GCF out front, do the parentheses. 4 divided by 4 is 1x, or we can just put x. Bring the plus down, and then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, um, going over here, um, there's a 1 in front of that x. So obviously the GCF is 1, but then we also need to look at our x's. Remember, x to the third means x times x times x. And then this 5 is just 5 times x. So when we're finding the GCF, we have to figure out, find out um, the variable, the smallest variable that they both have. Um, so this, this term has 1x. This term has 3x's. So because this has 1, we can only divide by 1x. So um, I have my x times x times x, which is x to the third minus my 5 times x. So 1 is going to be these GCF, but also it's going to be 1x, because I can divide this by 1x, and when I divide this by 1x, my x's cross off, and I'm left with 2x's. And you should know that x times x is x squared. Um, my GCF was x, so I'm going to put that out front. I have minus. And then 5 divided by 1 is 5. And then here the x's cross off. So again, the GCF in this case is going to be 1x or x. 
um, I can't use anything more than x because if I said, let's say I said x to the third, when I got here, I'd have x over three x's. One would cross off and I'd be left with two x's on the bottom. So that wouldn't have helped me out any. So you're going to divide by um, the variable that you have the least of because you know they'll both have it. And again, if you want to check and make sure that this was correct, because this is a little bit difficult, we multiply that, and that gives me x to the third. Bring down the minus, and we multiply this, and that gives you 5x. And that was our original problem here. So we, need, we know we did that right. Um, let's go down to this one. Here, um, the smallest number here is 3. The factors of 3 are 3 and 1, and 3 goes into all those. This has an x, this has an x, this one does not have an x, therefore I cannot include x in my GCF. They all have to have that variable. So we're just going to divide by 3 on each one of these. 3 is the GCF. So I bring the GCF out front. That crosses out, leaving me x squared. We put our minus in there. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and that has an x there. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1, so we have minus 1. This one, remember there's a 1 there, um, and so the smallest uh, num coefficient or number is going to be uh, negative 1. So in this case, we're going to just divide each one by negative 1. So we bring our negative 1 out front, and uh, you know a negative divided by negative gives you a positive. And it, this is a negative 7 divided by negative 1, so that would give you a positive 7. Um, and we could also rewrite this, you don't have to have the one out front, so you could just rewrite this as negative x plus 7. Okay. Um, and then again, if we distributed this, we'd come right back up to here so we know we did that right. So don't forget that um, 1 is also, or negative 1 can be a GCF as well. So now when I get to this one right here, um, 2 is the smallest coefficient or number. The factors are 2 and 1. 2 doesn't go into this. So 1 is the only, the greatest common factor. And when you divide by 1, you just get 2x minus 1, or minus 11. So this one is not factorable. It's already in its final form. So we, we can call this not factorable. Okay. And so I'm going to leave you to um, do F on your own, and then I'd like you to scroll down and answer um, 2 as well. And so complete F and complete 2, please. And the theme this week has been don't be a zombie, get your work done, don't be a zombie. So here's a little something for you. Don't become a zombie. Get your homework done. See you tomorrow.